What's up guys, it's Yuka here and welcome back to Flashback. The League of Legends European Championship, aka the LEC, has finally begun with a new stage, a new look and 10 stacked rosters. The offseason was long enough, so let's get straight into the action. Kicking things off for the LEC was the return of the El Clasico as SK Gaming took on Fnatic. 9 kills and 4k gold up, SK were dominating, but due to server issues the game had to be remade. SK weren't deterred though, and after new picks and bans they took the game to Fnatic once more. Self made impressed on his debut and secured the upset win for SK with a huge ultimate onto Reckless. Oh, that's a stunner to Reckless! The dive forward! Self made and the true shot barrage! Self made, you are a god! Then there was a new challenger approaching as Excel made their LEC debut. The plucky British underdogs were ready to rumble and roamed early as Jeskala and Exile shut down Splice's bot lane. However, Excel threw away their lead as both Expect and Exile were caught out overextending. With Baron buff on their side, Xerxes was able to lead Splice into Excel's base and clean up for the victory. And Exile really can't do much against this at all. After that, Vitality and Schalke faced off in a rematch of the 2018 Summer Split semi-finals. Ignar returned to Europe with his signature Thresh pick and reminded everyone of his fearsome hooks. From there, Schalke had control of the map and Vitality's last ditch effort to steal the Baron was far too late. Upset went on a rampage and ended Vitality's chances to take home a first win. Next up, Misfit's new super team featuring Soaz, Febavin, and Gorilla made their first appearance against newcomers Rogue. Rogue learned quickly to never let Hansama pick Draven, as the Frenchman quickly picked up first blood. With Hansama snowballing, Gorilla's European debut couldn't have gone smoother, and the duo showed promising signs of synergy. I slept. Oh, God! That is the Draven damage you never want to see. Misfits were dominant, and they aced Rogue to win their first game of the season. It's clean, it's pretty, it's what you want to see, and Hansama here to clean them up all too easy. In case you missed it, the most exciting roster swap of the offseason was Perks moving to bot. But how do you justify moving one of the best EU mids to bot? By adding the best EU mid to your roster, Caps. Okay, Vettius? There's a lot of flex picks here. Frosco, there's a lot of flex picks here. I need you to tell me what's happening. Who needs an AD carry when you've got Zoe? Despite a shaky early game, the combination of perks on Zoe, Caps poking like crazy on Jace, and Yankos' jungle Karthus left Origin decimated. Between Caps, Yankos, and perks, it looks like G2's first foray into new bot lane territory was a success. I'm not really like super confident yet, but I'm quite confident that I will become the best. The opening day of the LEC had been packed with upsets and drama, but there was still more to come as the teams returned for day two. Schalke showed up strong on Friday, but on Saturday they had to face G2. Not learning from G2's game against Origin, Schalke left Karthus open for Yankos. He'd been ill all week, but his Karthus ultimates were sick, setting up even more kills for his team. Meanwhile, Perks jumped on the ADC train with Kai'Sa. The result was devastating for Schalke. That will upset me to dive. Ignite is thrown down. Flash used defensively. Perks chases him down. It was a pixel perfect void seeker. And the acceleration never stopped. Perks jumps in. Thank you, Schalke. Next. Then it was the battle of fresh blood between the LEC's newest teams, Excel and Rogue. Kadriel had been over aggressive on day one, but with the help of Kasing's signature zillion, he was able to take over. Kasing's clutch chrono shift saved lives time and time again, reviving Excel for a day two victory. You put out your signature pick, zillion. Do you really think that this pick can fit any meta? Maybe my zillion, yes. <laughs> Next, Vitality looked to get back to their winning ways as they took on Splice. Nurse Garen remembered to buy items at level one this time, and his lane partner Kobe reaped the benefits. Having clearly learned from their mishaps on day one, Vitality were able to fight back and secure Baron to even the game up. The game was tight, but ended in disaster for Splice, thanks to Xerxes' unwanted delivery, allowing Attila to pick up a huge triple kill and the win for his team. After that, it was a fight between Misfits and SK Gaming, who both looked strong on day one. It was deja vu in the studio as Hansama snowballed again, picking up a double kill in an early skirmish. Last cone, Gorilla will take it. Here comes Dreams across the wall as well. Now it's a 4v4 in the jungle. And first blood goes to Misfit, and second blood goes to Misfits. They react perfectly to the fight. Crownshot and Dreams tried to run to the top lane, but Maxlor and Gorilla wouldn't let them escape. 
SK threw everything they had at Hansama, but it just wasn't enough. He and Maxlor cleaned up the fight before Soaz secured the ace, keeping Misfits undefeated. Finally, closing out the week was the return of one of Europe's most iconic rivalries, Fnatic vs. Origin. Fnatic were keen to bounce back from Friday's shock defeat, as a double teleport from Whippo and Nemesis gave them an early advantage. Yet, Fnatic were given a taste of their own medicine, as Nukeduck got the better of a 2v3 thanks to his mid lane vein. Onto Rekka straight away. Rekka's He's done! Gone. He's gone! Now Box is gonna join the party, but you can't get the isolation down. And Box is knocked away with the condemn! Put back! Slapped aside by Nuke Duck and Origin take two! In a drawn out fight, Alfari soaked up all of Fnatic's damage and took Origin to victory. Sitting bottom of the table after week one is not what Fnatic will have expected as world's finalists. Meanwhile, G2 and Misfits are both undefeated and look terrifying. If you'd like to relive the action of the week, make sure to log in to watch.lollysports.com to collect your watch rewards. Next week, our opening game features two world's tier teams as Fnatic take on Vitality. You won't want to miss it.